Have you ever wondered why gold doesn't rust or why helium balloons float? And why are diamonds so hard while graphite made from the same element is so soft? The answers to these intriguing questions lie in the heart of chemistry in the study of the elements. The elements you see are the building blocks of matter. They make up everything around us from the air we breathe to the water we drink and even the very cells that make up our bodies. They are pure substances that cannot be broken down into simpler substances by ordinary chemical means. Each element is unique, defined by the number of protons it has in its atomic nucleus. This is known as the atomic number, and it determines the identity of the element. To understand elements, it's crucial to first grasp the concept of the atom. An atom is the smallest unit of an element that retains the properties of that element. Picture it as a tiny solar system, with protons and neutrons at the center, or nucleus, and electrons whirling around in a cloud around them. Now, not all atoms are created equal. Even within the same element, atoms can have different numbers of neutrons. These versions of an element are called isotopes. While they share the same chemical properties, their different masses can lead to different physical properties. Elements don't exist in isolation either. They are social, interacting with each other to form compounds. For instance, two hydrogen atoms combine with one oxygen atom to create a water molecule. This ability to form compounds is due to the way electrons are arranged in atoms. By understanding the elements and their behavior, we can begin to predict how they will interact with each other, giving us the ability to create everything from new materials to life-saving medicines. So let's sum up what we've learned about elements today. Elements are the building blocks of matter, defined by their atomic number. Atoms, the smallest unit of an element, are composed of protons, neutrons, and electrons. Different isotopes of an element have the same number of protons, but a different number of neutrons, leading to different physical properties. Elements combine to form compounds, with the arrangement of electrons playing a crucial role in these interactions. And by studying these elements and their interactions, we can make predictions and create new substances. So the next time you see a gold ring, remember that it's made of atoms of gold, an element that doesn't rust. Or when you see a helium balloon floating, remember that it's filled with helium atoms, lighter than air. And when you write with a pencil, remember that the graphite is made from carbon atoms, arranged differently than in a diamond. The world of elements is truly fascinating, full of intrigue and wonder. It's a world that can unlock the secrets of the universe, one atom at a time. The elements are not just the ABCs of the universe, they are the very language of life itself.